Hello everybody and welcome to this video tutorial that's going to show you how to configure IP Vanish client connection on an Asus router running version 3 firmware. So my first recommendation after you set up your router with uh, out of the box by configuring its login details and also its Wi-Fi passwords etc is that uh, you head over to the Wang menu and you divert yourself from using the ISV DNS service to another DNS service. In this case, I've gone to the Wang menu where it says connect to DNS server automatically. You will have yes. Choose the no option. And then in two boxes below, these are Google DNS servers. Uh, set 8.8.8.8, for example, and 8.8.4.4. And then scroll down to the button, bottom of the uh, screen and hit apply and that will save those settings. The next thing is inside your IP Vanish control panel uh, in the server list menu you'll be able to download a OpenVPN config file and when you download that file I'm using a program called WinRAR uh, you can just right click on it and choose extract here and you'll end up unarchiving a series of files and each one of these files represents a IP Vanish server for OpenVPN connections. So um, you've downloaded that, you've got these uh, files ready, and you're ready to set up the VPN connection. Now I've already configured under the VPN menu, VPN client, I've already configured my account here under two types of configurations OpenVPN and PPTP. It is considered that PPTP is an older protocol and has been already sort of cracked. Um, technically speaking, your ISP is not going to be cracking PPTP traffic and the advantage of using PPTP is its speed. Uh, VPN in general is a mathematically intensive process. The CPUs inside routers are not really, uh, don't really have that much grunt. Uh, so PPTP PPTP is a more lightweight protocol using a 128-bit uh, character uh, code to encrypt with and compared to OpenVPN which goes up to 2048. So because of this formula being more intensive in OpenVPN you will actually get slower speeds out of your router using OpenVPN compared to PPTP. And whilst I'm here already connected to a UK server I'm going to run a speed test to show you what I get on this ASUS uh, RT-AC66U. So as you can see, we're hitting about 23 megabits. Now, um, and pretty much on an ASUS model, even up to the RT-AC58U, you're not going to get more than about 30, 33 megabits per second. Uh, with OpenVPN. Uh, you have to invest on uh, routers that are substantially more expensive, that are substantially faster to get faster VPN speeds than that. Now you're probably going to experience faster speeds using the VPN app on your mobile, but your mobile has got substantially uh, faster CPU compared to any router uh, that you might get your hands on. So um, there's 23 megabits and now I'm going to head over to the ASUS again and just activate the PPTP uh, connection. Just wait for it to connect, spinning around. And there it is connected. I'm going to uh, repeat the uh, speed test. And I have a Virgin 100 megabit connection, and you can see it's hitting about 76. So it's nearly three times faster, and this could be important to you. So this is just a small piece of advice. You might need to downgrade your protocol, VPN protocol, to get uh, better performance out of your hardware. So how do we set these connections up? So um, quite simply, in the VPN menu, VPN clients, you click on Add Profile. We're going to go for setting up the OpenVPN one first. So in here, you're putting a description of what you're setting up. In this case, we'll say UK, UK uh, OpenVPN. And you put in your email address for your IP Vanish account. 
and you put in your password for the IP Vanish account and then you click on browse and you go into that folder where you've unarchived uh, all the configuration files and you pick a configuration file that you like so in this case um, I'm looking for a London server let's go for 04 and once you've chosen the file we we'll click on upload and then you'll get a error saying that it's missing a client uh, sorry a certificate authority uh, uh, certificate so we click on this little import the CA uh, option and we click on browse and we head over to importing this ca.ipvanish.com.crt that's the certificate we choose it and then we click on upload and it's complete what that's done if I click on edit it's, it's filled in this box up here with this in, uh, encryption certificate so um, we then click OK and it creates the entry and literally all you need to do after that is click on activate and it'll be the same as what I've created here only as I've typed in gibberish for my username and password it's not going to connect but I've demonstrated the connection on this test here now we're going to add a PPTP profile so for this we head over to the um, IP vanish um, server list and I've had to go to page 30 something to find the UK servers and you're literally choosing as you can see there's different uh, server loads happening so I mean you can pick a server that at the moment isn't uh, hasn't got a heavy server load 12% capacity in use we right click and we copy that address um, and then you go back to the ASUS router click on add profile choose PPTP and in this case we'll just do a UK PP TP oops and we paste in the server address and again you put in your email address and your password you then click on auto and you change it to 128 bits and you click OK and that will prepare the connection for PPTP so that's how you configure OpenVPN and PPTP on a Asus router uh, on the IP Vanish service. Thank you very much for watching. If you fancy one of these routers, I do sell them on eBay. I do also configure them for you if you need it configuring. And, um, and take a look at the description, there'll be a link in there. If you uh, want to take a look at the recommended VPN routers from the ASUS collection, uh, basically, I recommend two the RTAC 51U is a budget router that will get you about 33 megabits per second using PPTP but would only do about 7 megabits using OpenVPN. If you want to increase the OpenVPN speed I recommend the Asus RT58U model uh, which will hit about 30 something megabits using um, OpenVPN and should hit about 70 to 80 megabits uh, I have seen it do 90 megabits per second uh, using PPTP so um, those are the recommended models and I provide Amazon links which are affiliate links uh, which will make me a very small amount of commission uh, but the support is greatly appreciated so thank you very much for watching and take care